Sometimes, much like when my girlfriend asked me whether I could still grow out my hair and I said of course I could, I just stay bald because I like the aerodynamic look, honesty isn't always the best policy as now she's challenged me to grow out my three hairs and to cut a long story short, Baldy Locks here is going to have to buy a bloody wig before her sister's wedding. Anyway, point being, sometimes it's better to keep things under wraps. For example, if you're a superhero, maybe you should think about keeping that secret identity as safe as you possibly can. After all, when you've got villains out there who can smash, disintegrate, or turn you inside out, you might want to keep your postal address off the record. Yet for reasons known only to them, we've seen our favourite heroes unmask and demystify themselves, leaving them wide open to retribution. And we as an audience have collectively gone, oh honey, no, stop. So with this in mind, I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com, and these are eight superheroes who revealed their identities and paid the ultimate price. Number 8. Iron Man. Iron Man Volume 3, Number 55. There are many, many things that Tony Stark could justifiably reveal his secret identity for, namely to save the world, or to stop someone who had stolen his identity, or even to just show people the truth. All of these reasons are better than the one that we actually got in Iron Man number 55, where Iron Man reveals that he is indeed Tony Stark by dramatically changing into his armour in order to save a dog that's about to be hit by a car. I'm sorry, what? I mean, I know that it's heroic, but it's also undeniably hilarious to think that after countless elaborate schemes to protect his identity, it takes precisely one pooch in peril for him to drop all pretense. While it is a fun moment, it's also terribly timed, as it happens in front of his current love interest, who promptly ceases being his current love interest because of having hid this massive secret from her the whole time. Not gonna lie, the perks of dating Iron Man are pretty high and probably would outweigh this but remember, a relationship built on lies will never stand. Remember that, kids. Number 7. Captain Marvel Avengers 198 by all means, Captain Marvel revealing her secret identity is a legitimately traumatic experience. After all, the only reason that she reveals her identity in the first place is because she's three months pregnant, and terrified because the moment of conception was only one day ago, meaning that something is seriously amiss here. As it turns out, Marvel's unborn child is the seed of a magical being known as Marcus, who is causing the pregnancy to advance rapidly. But that's not the only weird thing that's going on here, as this child is actually Marcus himself, born into this reality through absolute guffins, meaning that he's abused Carol's body as a means to enter this reality. And through all of this, Carol is gaslighted by her team and made to feel bad for not wanting to associate with this Marcus fella. And missing in all of this is the fact that Captain Marvel revealed her secret identity to a group that really, at its core, didn't have her best interests at heart when it mattered. Number 6. Daredevil. Daredevil Volume 3, Number 36. It's no secret that Daredevil has had his secret identity revealed a good handful of times over the years, usually with suitably awful retributions afterwards. However, of these assorted times, he's only revealed his identity once by himself, which occurred in the 2011 run of Daredevil where he was forced to reveal that he was indeed Matt Murdock in order to prevent himself from being blackmailed by the Sons of the Serpent. While this was worked out in the end, Murdoch was immediately disbarred from working as a lawyer in New York, and then would be targeted personally by his colossal collection of villains, all of whom were now able to track him down far more easily than ever before. Though he dealt with all of these issues with surprising ease, unveiling his secret identity was a huge sacrifice for Murdoch, as it made his worst fear real, that his friends and loved ones would be placed in danger because of him. Number 5. Marvel Boy, New Warriors Vol. 2, Number 23 Vance Astrovic, better known as Marvel Boy, has got one of the most brutal reveals of a secret identity to date. After breaking down when his father began to abuse him, Vance turned his powers against the man using his telekinesis to fling him into one of the walls of his house, which killed him with the impact. Instead of sympathising with the routinely abused teen, the courts forced him to reveal his secret identity in order for him to be tried, meaning that everyone found out who he was in the worst possible way imaginable. 
criminal. To make matters even worse, Vance is put in jail for this, despite the fact that I panicked because a man was trying to beat me seems like a more than reasonable defence, right? While things work out okay in the end, it doesn't seem entirely fair that in exchange for revealing his secret identity and having his traumatic past shared with the world, Vance serves a prison sentence. Although he does take on the absolutely baller superhero name of Justice after this, but I don't think that all things considered that this was worth the gimmick shift. Number 4. John Stewart's Green Lantern Number 188 At first, John Stewart being revealed to the public as a Green Lantern seems like a great thing, earning the architect praise, love and respect from his peers and a healthy dose of media attention. But these good things aren't to last, as John loses his job due to this revelation, because apparently no good deed goes unpunished. Similarly, he manages to paint a huge green target on his back by revealing who he really is, attracting villains to him like he's the sole light at a party full of moths. Despite losing his dream job, though, Stuart isn't deterred, to the extent that his superhero costume to this day is without any kind of mask, openly showing his previous secret identity to everyone he meets. It's a brave move, but one that came with a price. Number 3. Spider-Man Civil War when explaining to someone how revealing your secret identity is a rather risky idea, there are few better examples than that of Peter Parker in Civil War. Spider Dash Man reveals his secret identity to the masses as a kind of publicity stunt from the swaying words of Tony Stark, and was a move to try and convince heroes to comply with the Superhuman Registration Act, which was a bill that required heroes to have their civilian name and occupation recorded. Unfortunately, the Web Dash Slinger also highlights why this is in many ways a terrible idea, as Peter and his family are almost immediately hunted by villains, leading to Aunt May being shot, which would have killed her had she not been given immediate medical help. And also, it probably just passed through most of her, seeing as that she's always like half dust at any given point. She is very old. As a result, May fell into a coma, which Peter would have to literally sacrifice his life to the devil in order to fix, making this a prime example of why you keep your secret identity safely secret. Number 2. Hollis Mason, Watchmen the death of Hollis Mason, the original Night Owl who belonged to the Minutemen, is both one of the saddest individual deaths that we see in the series and one of the most overlooked. Mason revealed his secret identity after retiring as a superhero through his autobiography titled Under the Hood. Due to the second Night Owl, Dan having not revealed his identity, many believed that the two were one and the same, which meant that when Dan took up the cowl again despite superheroes being outlawed, many thought that it was Hollis who was responsible. After Dan Dan broke Rorschach out of prison, this case of mistaken identity would lead to Mason's death, as a gang would beat the old man to death in revenge for freeing this unstable vigilante. Although it pales in comparison to the countless people who were murdered by a manufactured alien squid, yes, it's a weird story, knowing that an innocent old man was killed for being honest about his superhero past is still undeniably tragic. And number one, Batman, Justice League The Dark Side War. While it would seem simply impossible that Batman would ever be willing to reveal his secret identity to anyone who isn't either part of his rather large extended adopted family or a love interest, the Dark Side War series sees this exact scenario happens, with none other than Joe Chill, the man who killed Bruce's parents. After Batman gains the power of the Mobius chair, which allows him to basically have omniscience, he decides to pay a visit to his old pal, Joe Chill, and remind the crook how he ruined the life of Bruce. Bruce Wayne and many others like him. When Chills shows pride in this, Batman changes tactic, revealing his true identity to the man in order to instill fear in him. The plan is pretty successful, and Batman does think to wipe Chills' memory afterwards, so initially it does seem like Bruce has gotten a spot of catharsis that he's always needed. Until he gets back to the Batcave, however, and we see that the Mobius chair has resented being part of this whole ordeal and has trapped Batman in it, harming him every Every time he goes against the chair's demands. In short, while it's fun to watch the Dark Knight get a little revenge on the man who destroyed his life, it's also maybe not worth it when it's all said and done. 
And there we go, those were eight superheroes who revealed their identities and paid the ultimate price. I hope that you enjoyed that, my friends, and please let me know down below of any other examples that you would have included, because who knows, I might come and do a commenter's edition further down the line. I hope that you are well, my friend, and I hope that you are having a fantastic start to this new year. I'm recording this in January, don't know when this is going to go out, but I hope that you have a fantastic start to your year, and you treat yourself as kindly and as fairly as you possibly can. And even though the year ahead of us is full of promise and the unknown, it can can be a little bit daunting, I do understand that. So just remember that you can speak to people if you are worried about your place and where you're going, where you're spending your energy, and genuinely, if you just need some help. Because friends, families, professionals in the support industry, all of us care about you and want you to do well, because you're a bloody legend. As always, I've been Jules. You can go follow me at RetroJ with a zero over on Twitter. And if you would be interested in checking out something a bit different, I do actually have a board game channel here on YouTube called Live and Let's Dice. It'd be great to see you over there. It does have the blessing of what culture, so don't worry about that. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. And as always, you have been awesome. Never forget that, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.